Wubba-lubba-dub-dub! My name is Mr. Fox and welcome back to Destiny 2 in another episode of Will It PvP and today we are looking at the Traveler's Judgment 5. But Mr. Fox, what about the faction rally weapons? There, um... There isn't any? <laughs> oh, but... I mean, this feels like a really bad time for them to not add anything really new. With all the issues about people complaining about lack of content, then you bring back the faction rally after canceling it for like a month. And then it comes back and... Well, technically there are four new weapons. But three of which are locked behind the specific faction winning. So there are like three autos. Future War Cult has the Doubt. I believe 600 RPM auto uh, I cannot dead orbits haunted something 720 or 760 rounds per minute and those you gotta be point blank at which point you may as well just be using an SMG though the one I'm pretty intrigued about is new monarchies it's a uh, it's a really slow rate of fire, long range, but it looks interesting. It looks interesting. I'll give it that. There, those That archetype did get a buff, but honestly, I feel like the most reliable out of them would be Future War Cult. But anyways, back to the Traveler's Judgment and ignoring all the disappointment about having nothing to grind for other than armor, which, I mean, it is nice, but uh, I'll... Get into it later. First, the gun. It has Head Seeker. Body shots landed with this weapon increased precision damage for a short time. Personally, I've always enjoyed this perk. As, you know, not all your headshots are always going to hit them in the head. Like, sometimes your target moves, someone gets in the way. Just a little insurance for increased damage. Our other perks can be armor piercing rounds, slight increased range, but as we see it decreases. Acrize rounds can give us the most range, whereas steady rounds give us the most stability. Personally, I want a little bit more range, and stability is already pretty damn good. We can have tactic sass, slight increase to range, target fast, bitch, or farpoint fast. Honestly, I just went with tactic for maximum stability, as I find without it, it can be a little awkward at times. And it is an adaptive frame, well-rounded, reliable, and fires a three-round burst. You know, these pain-in-the-ass weapons. <laughs> so let's go find out if it is worth your time to grind and get this little sidearm. And hopefully not suck. I have to say, I am really disappointed with this faction rally. I was waiting for like, a month. Hard to come back. Alright, I was hoping for new content. Right now, this seems like a really poor move to not add new content when everyone's up in arms about the lack of content after you made us wait a month for this faction rally. You know? It's just annoying. Like, always waiting for shit to happen in this game. And then just disappoints you. You think they couldn't disappoint me any more than they just did. But they find a way. Because what do we get? We got a sidearm and one auto, essentially, for whoever wins. Yeah, we're not winning that engagement. Because we gotta use a sidearm. Because I don't have any other guns to review. Because they didn't add any new fucking guns! They have the lead, but the match. I'm not annoyed. I'm not completely and utterly disappointed in Bungie right now. And even more pissed off about the lottery system than normal. Because A, if you want to get the armor, you, you gotta, like, you know, get tokens. How do you get tokens? Mr. Fox, is there a farming method? No, there isn't. They patched that out because... Lord be, someone actually gets something out of the lottery. How dare they? How dare they get stuff out of the lottery system? Ah, shit. 
I've turned in maybe three packages, one piece of armor, and then the rest, they weren't even guns from that faction. They were just random piece of shit guns I threw in. To the stupid loot pool for more grinding. Why? It's a limited time event. You don't need to throw in other guns. If you are, don't add so many freaking guns to the loot pool that we can randomly get. Like, why would you do that? Why, Bungie? I see you, sir. I'm just gonna leave you. It's not worth the amount of time it's gonna take to go in, find the guy, and just get shotgunned around the corner, you know? But the fact they seem really annoyed because I'm really disappointed. Really, really disappointed. More disappointed than normal. Because this channel, it lives and dies by destiny. Sure, we get the odd views on like the Evil Within 2, One Dragon Age video, Pokemon, but nothing compared to Destiny 2. And we're running out of content. We're at the bottom of whatever barrel we're at. We're not even at the. We're past the bottom of the barrel. We're like into the ground now, picking up random crap and trying to show it off. That's where we're at. I'm just annoyed. <sighs> I just want something new to do, you know? Something worth my time. But we didn't get anything new. No new weapons, unless the faction wins. The only weapon that is new in the loot pool is something you randomly can get. Not even after pledging to each faction, I think you actually have to... Ugh, damn it. You actually have to randomly get it after pledging to all three by the looks of it, because I pledged to each of the factions. Like, the consensus sidearm. It doesn't even look that great, mind you. It's like, it's something. Left. At this point, we need anything. I'm just using anything on this channel. <laughs> I need views, I'm sorry. Oh, you have a shotgun, don't you? Yep. Mm hmm Yeah. Fuck, you don't sound like you're enjoying yourself. I'm not. I was actually really happy and chipper before coming in here. Just playing Final Fantasy 15, having a good time. Having a good time. But now, we're here. Playing this. I don't even notice how much of a boost you get from the head seeker. I think the uh, headshot was 28 after that body shot. And that's regular headshot damage is like Your enemy is 27. So 27, 24 at range. So it's not that big of an increase. Maybe if you land like three body shots in a row, you might actually know something. So. It's just, this game, man, like all their proposed changes to like improve the game are just stuff you think should have been in the game in the first place when it launched. Kind of like what the Taken King did back in D1, you're like, why wasn't this in the base game? You're like, you know what, just they're trying to fix it, let's go along with it. <sighs> it's just frustrating. Very, very frustrating. <laughs> I still killed your friend! You can't take that from me! But yeah, I mean, I do understand that it can be pretty difficult to constantly come up with new weapons every single friggin' few weeks, I guess, since the faction rally is like at the start of every month and you got the banana at the end of every month. But still, like. If you're a content creator, there's very little for you to do in Destiny right now. 
<laughs> that just sucks, especially if you're a small channel. It's been a while since I don't even know if I ever played Control on this map. Huh. I am Ninja! Oh shit. My ninjaness. Don't be captured. He's beside you, isn't he? Have no, that's a smoke Don't nade. see lost. So that means you're Oh. Just all smoke needs. Oh, I will be your dooms! Two for one. A fire team that fights together. Cause this gun. It is pretty good. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy it. But Mr. the fact. Are you still mad? Yeah, I'm still annoyed. Still pretty annoyed about the state of destiny. I mean, I know it's gonna improve, but it's just... At a certain point, if you've been playing since the launch of D1... Your patience is probably running thin right now. Like... Like mine is. It is... Hard to keep giving them chance after chance after chance. Don't get me started on the Eververse. I'm glad they're removing content from it and putting it into the game, but... And, uh, team shot. I just kind of wish... We had guns, like... I honestly... I don't look forward to much in Destiny, but a faction rally meant new weapons, and usually... There's at least one weapon per rally that does pretty damn good on the channel. This one, we got like no options. Why would you jump shot? I mean, it worked, but it's not like a good opening strategy with how low of accuracy you get in the air. This is what we call over rotating. Zone B capture. Zone advantage is yours. No, well, I'm just gonna give up on that point. Only five minutes left. Zone A lost. What can stop you if you fight together? Nothing. Um, shotguns can stop me, like, really fast. Don't see Captain. You have zone advantage. I should have punched him. I definitely should have punched him. Pretty alright last match, considering the map was, like, really friggin' huge. <laughs> this one at least has some lines of sight we can work with, compared to... Four. Zone B lost. Every single sidearm video, these are very situational. You should not run around with a sidearm exclusively. You will run into issues like range. Don't very, very many range Don't issues. Advantage is yours. Oh. 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 Woo! Ah, man. I think if he was not using Uriels, we probably would have got him. <laughs> I also love how the moment the Crucible comes a little bit competitive again, everyone reaches for their nerfed Uriels. It's like... Yeah, high caliber are a bit of annoyance, but... Yes, come point blank range. Three minutes. You're evenly matched. Oh. Oh, you just got Nova'd. We just took the lead. You captured Zone Oh, no, 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 no. Spiderness for you. No. 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 I 
thought I heard someone cast their um <laughs> sentinel. That's why I tethered. Because I saw two dots, someone casted a sentinel. And I wasn't gonna take that risk, you know? Cause like why die needlessly? Zone A captured. Zone advantage is yours. If you got a super to take out the target and live, go for it. Make a judgment call. Oh, we're fucked. <laughs> so here's the thing I'm worrying about when they bring back 6v6 is like everyone's been conditioned for team shot. So what's gonna happen in 6v6? Is it gonna just be people mowing each other down with team shot left and right? Because I feel like that's what's gonna happen. That's gonna real suck if that happens. You took them. Now hold Cause unless they increase nice. the time to kill, so you lost. are gonna be seeing a crap ton of team shots. Oh, what the sh shotgun? Do do we need to have a conversation about you again? How when you're point blank and you shoot someone in the face, you're supposed to kill them? Oh my god. I feel so betrayed. One ah, minute you left. nerd! Get wrecked by the colony! It wasn't even me. But I'm proud of my buddy for saving me. You, you, you had one job, buddy. Could, could you not do, do that a little sooner? You know? You know, save Papa Fox. <laughs> save me. I don't want to die. I want to survive. Like a survivor. Victory I'm imminent. It's the fact that was it again? It's like, okay. I know it wasn't the gun I'm technically supposed to be using right now, but... What else do you expect me to do here? No, oh, that was a mistake. I'm so fucked. Come on, Invis. Come on. Ah, I didn't get it off in time. <sighs> and that guy was committed. He wanted to kill me for such a long time. Oh, look at that. Where, where are my tokens? Bungie? Bungie? My tokens? Otherwise, that was just a complete waste of time on my part. I mean... We had a 2.0. We had 20 kills. I think two of which were from our Nameless Midnight. But hey, I think that's impressive for mainly just running around with the sidearm. So what does that tell you? Three bursts are still really damn good. Despite the nerf, they're worth using. Will the Traveler's Judgment PvP? Yeah, it will. Mr. Fox, you don't seem that happy. I, it's just the fact, Jamali. It's got me down, you know? Like, what What do I really have left to review? We got Swift Solstice? Swift Justice? Something like that? Full auto sidearm? We got a really slow rate of fire Suros auto, I think. I mean, if I can get my hands on the Trial Scout, I'll definitely do that because we need something. Even Trials Auto, like I had it and it was masterworked, I dismantled it for the masterwork core to make stuff and did that with the hand cannon too, I think. It's just the hand cannon wasn't that great, to be honest. But anyways, yes, Traveler's Judgment is worth the grind, though you might... Honestly, I'm... You might be better off with a eulogy, you know? I can't remember what it has, I think it's Zen Moment or it might be High Cal. I can't really remember. I just remember it's really good. It's a Amalon. So, you know, Amalon 3 on burst. Sure, they got nerfed. But honestly, you can't go wrong with Traveler's Judgment. I think it's a really good pick if you want a sidearm. Go for it. I mean, there's a lot of 3 round bursts and full auto sidearms you go with. Just comes down to preference. Headseeker, it, it's not the most useful perk. Occasionally it grants you like a little bit more damage that can help you in a gunfight, especially if someone runs in front of your shots and all your headshots are landing, give you like that extra damage you need. Oh yeah, it can burst someone down pretty damn fast at near close range. Pair it with a long range weapon, you're good to go. And anyways, that's it for today's episode. If you liked what you see and want to see more, leave a like. 
subscribe, and thank you all for getting us to 40. Thank you. Thank you so damn much. Hopefully we can hit 50. Here's hoping, you know, cl keep climbing our way up. But anyways, I hope you all have an amazing day. Try not to get too down by this faction rally. I mean, if you haven't gotten all the weapons for it, this is probably a nice little breather. Like, get some weapons you haven't gotten. You can grind for the armor. Just from a content creating side, it's, it's a bit of a bummer that there's no weapons. But, you know, that's just me. And a lot of other people. <laughs> but I hope you all have an amazing day and stay classy and don't be skirm.